Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the minimum number of moves to seed every one problem from lead code and the number for this is 2037. So in the given problem, uh, there are n seats and n students in a room and we are given with an array seats of length n uh, where seats of i is the position of i seat and we are also given a student array of length n where student of j is the position of jth student. Now what we have to do? We can perform a move operation any number of times that is increase or decrease the position of ith student by 1 and uh, what is the purpose? The purpose is that we have to return the minimum number of moves required to move each student to a seat such that no two students are on the same seat. So the problem requires us to find the minimum number of moves to position each student in such a way that no two students occupy the same seat. And since the cost of moving a student is absolute difference between the current position and the target position, like because there is no cost involved, there is the cost is one because we are moving the student by one. So the best approach is uh, to pair with the closest seat to the closest student that we can do. Pair the closest student with the closest seat. So for this we need to sort the seats. Now let's see through an example first. So let's uh, take the first example 315274. So in this uh, we are given the 315 the positions of the seat and 274 the positions of the students. Now what the first step is to sort the array. Sort both the arrays. Now for the sorted arrays the sorted seats become 1 3 5 and the sorted students become 2 4 7 now we are going to uh, we are going to pair the student with the nearest seat so now the first student to that is position that 2 will be seated at position 1 the student at position 4 will be seated at position 3 and the student at position 7 will be seated at position 5 so the differences become 1 plus 1 plus 2 you can see here the moves required is 1 here the move required is uh, 1 and here the move required is 2 the total becomes 4 here this is the cumulative total so, and the uh, time complexity for this becomes n log n because we are sorting the arrays and the space complexity is o of 1 now let's come to the code section the code section is pretty easy for this so the first step is arrays dot sort seats arrays dot sort students int n equal to seats dot length sum equal to 0 for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so what we have to do sum plus equal to mat dot absolute difference of seeds of i minus student of i and uh, then we have to simply return the sum let's try to run it oh, there has been some error let's see what the error is this is actually students Okay, runs fine in sample test cases. Let's run for the hidden test cases as well. Okay, passes the hidden test cases with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. As I told you, the time complexity for this solution is n log n, and the memory complexity is often because we are not using any space. You can also check my solutions by going into the solutions panel and then checking the solution. This is my solution. This will be the. You can find it in the top of the uh, hot 
solutions uh, where you can read the intuition, the approach, the complexity, the explanation and also see the Java, C++, Python and JavaScript code for the same. I hope you understood, uh, do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.